So back again for another review video. Uh, this time doing a little different type of model. Uh, doing the Lindbergh uh, 164 scale uh, JFK's PT-109 boat, torpedo boat. Uh, found this in a thrift store or a place near my and we had it on cheap so I figured why not. So let's take a look. Nice thing about the box is it does open up fairly well. So, uh, starting with the main one piece hull assembly, uh, it does feel like there is some issue around the edge where the upper part of the hull is supposed to connect. Um, do also have some, a nasty bit of oops, stuff felt behind me. Anyway, uh, it had not bit of a odd sort of cut mark where they've gone ahead and trimmed off uh, the art from the main pore mold. Uh, definitely could have been done a lot better. Now moving on to the upper part. Um, detail is there but it's for the most part molded on and is very fine and Otherwise, not that well done. It's workable though, but it's definitely could be better. That is to say, as some of these details probably would have been better if they uh, molded them separately and had you put them on. But again, no, it's workable. It's not the best. Uh, and tell it, got one of the antennas. Some other little odds and ends. Uh, I'd have to say this is one of the better sprues as far as needing cleanup. Uh, here we have various gun mounts and the guns themselves. Detail is basically not an existent. In fact, if you look here on the underside, there's no detail whatsoever on these uh, twin 50s. And the molding's honestly not that great, particularly on this larger 20 millimeter gun. Uh, got a lot of flash that will need cleaning up. Yep. Moving on, uh, see, comes with a total of four torpedoes to display with the boat. Again, a lot of flashing in this particular sprue, propeller, ship's wheel which actually came out pretty decent. Uh, life raft. Lights, though, or at least I, those, actually I take that back, those aren't lights, those are the front of the, front or the back of the torpedoes, uh, various ship bits, gun mount, and, and so on. <laughs> Uh, now here's where this kit has even more flash. Uh, the other half the torpedoes, some more odds and ends, and the figures. Now the figures are kind of let down, as in all honesty, they weren't really poured very well. They seem under a little underscale, and just the detail is really poor. And and here, actually, we can see one of the cabins. And in fact, the windows aren't even windows; they're just molded on, from the looks of it. Uh, definitely something you'd have to cut out and either make your own windows or or, you know, in all honesty, you know, do something with it. As as it is, it's not that great. Uh, it does come with a little bit of a display stand, though you have some nice ejector pin marks on the um, title card. And then here we have the rudder, and we have a, it does come with a metal uh, prop shaft, which I was a little surprised at finding. Uh, yeah. Doesn't even have a sticker flag. 
uh, decals have yellowed considerably, so, which is never a good sign or good sign as to how old this particular kit is. But now moving on to the instructions. Uh, instructions are they're they're decent, but they're. Honestly, there's some areas where it could have been better. You know, it's pretty vague, especially with paint callouts. At least until you get here, I take that back. Uh, again, I would recommend you know, checking your references. Uh, it doesn't give you any particular uh, paint callouts as far as, you know, like an FS number or anything like that, which would have helped as far as, you know, going for accuracy uh yeah there's not much else to say on than... now uh I, as i said earlier in the review i bought this at sort of a dollar thrift store type place that, that's near me now, i've found model kits there before be able to get them on the cheap now i if i recall correctly i paid about twelve dollars for this thing if that now after doing a little checking online i found that the list priced is about thirty would i pay thirty dollars for this kit no it's not worth the thirty bucks there's there's some obvious issues with the mold pour and all that and again looking online the next sort of price that I found it at was 20. I'd say even then it's a stretch. You know, if I had to put a price on it for, you no, know, what's it worth for your money, I'd say 15. If you can get for 15 or less, then yeah, I'd say it's worth it's decent for that kind of money. It'll give you, you know, a PT boat. But other than that, I'd say, you know, it's not one I'd say go rush out and buy. No, I'd say get it if you can get it, you no, know, for cheap, or if you know you really like PT boats and don't want to pay the amount for the largest 135th scale that Hilary has been doing. I'm uh, pretty sure they haven't done a PT boat, uh, a U or at least a U.S. PT boat. I know they've done a German one and an Italian one, but I think that's it. I'd assume they're probably going to get to U.S. PT boats eventually. So, uh, again, you know, it's a decent kit, but not worth the money that online is asking. You know, save your money for something else. So, uh, until next time.